Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, we're going to be continuing our 100% Majora's Mask run. Hell okay, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, can you see the game? You can see the game. Can you hear the game? You can hear the game. Okay, here we go. It's time. All right. So what we're going to do first is get the fuck out of here. Oh my gosh, I feel like the game is very loud. Hang on. Let me, okay, get out of that so we get the full... Okay, hang on. This is so loud. Okay. There we go. I think that's probably better. That's probably better. Okay. Anyways. Um, we need to get to Akana. It's ghost time, y'all. It's time to get spoopy. Okay, so then we need to go this way. Right? Mm, nope, this was wrong. Oh, it's the other way. Or we should go to East Clock Town. My bad. So, there's parts of Akana that you can get to way before this, which we have completed, but the main part of Akana you cannot get to until you have the hookshot. Well, we have the hookshot now, of course, so we're finally, finally gonna go. Did I? Okay. I thought for a second I didn't remember Epona's song, but I do remember it. I was just going too fast. Epona! My horsey! Hey, baby. Oh, Koneko, are you not with the horses today? Sunday horse day? Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. I think I might have forgotten your schedule. I'm sorry, Koneko. Wee! Wee! Saturday is horse day. That's right, Saturday is horse day. Hee 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 hee. What are you doing in a place like this? Ikana Hill beyond here is the place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Even now, the spirits wander in search of one who can save them. It is unfortunate, but it is no place for one such as you. But if you must enter, then you must obtain the mask containing wandering spirits that can be found near the ranch. Without that mask, you cannot save their souls. Until then, I will not let you pass by here. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get out. Let's get off. Oh, nope. I don't. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> um, let's get down off the horse. Okie dokie. There we go. Um, we don't need the bunny hood for this, this moment. We do need our Garo mask. So we got this quite a while back. We got this quite a while back when we did the Gorman Brothers racetrack. So now we are actually using this mask. Eehehehe, <laughs> that's a nice mask you're wearing. That is the mask of the leader of the ninjas who once spied on the hilltop castle with the bloodstained history. With that, you may be able to call out the spirits that even now are still wandering. Perhaps you may be able to save the souls that wander beyond here. Eehehehe. <laughs> and then a tree grows and oh, oh no. Y'all, he was dead the whole time. He was dead the whole time. The heck and heck. We gotta back up more. There we go. So you need the Garo mask and you need the hook shot. Oh my gosh. There. Got it. Okay. So we're gonna walk through here. Um, you don't want to put on the bunny hood because these guys are gonna like just pop out. And if you have on the bunny hood, you're going to be going too fast. You're going to run into them. Oh my god. Like, that boulder just hit me. Um, and then... <laughs> and then, like, you're just gonna... You're gonna get bodied. You're gonna get bodied. But, uh, we're just gonna... We're just gonna casually walk past all these guys. Only with a quarter heart damage is okay. He was dead the whole time. According to some fans, that's the plot of the game. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I've heard that before that Link was dead the whole time. 
Okay. So anyway, we're here now. Uh, okay, Tattle, what you got to tell us? I can see it, but I sense there's a thirst for blood looming all around us. Don't you have a mask that can summon the unseen? So Tattle will say that like a whole, whole bunch, like over and over um, in this area. And I'll show you why in a minute. But first, this way. We gets to go over here. One does not simply walk into a Kana, true. Tattle, no, I know you're gonna say the same nonsense that you just said a second ago. I know it, okay? All right, so if you talk to him as Link, you can buy blue potions. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business here in this canyon. You should give up going to the far side of the canyon. That place is cursed. If you don't have something that drives away demons, they'll catch you. Rumor has it, demons aren't afraid unless they see something that looks the same as themselves. Don't you need any blue potion? In case you get cursed, one drink is a hundred rupees. Tattle, no. <laughs> here I thought you were better than Navi, right? Yeah, so she'll say it over and over. Um, do you need any? No, we don't need any blue potion. Oh, really? You'll be cursed. No, I won't because I have, I have the uh, Song of Storms and that will get me uncursed. Okay, thank you. So anyway, we turn into Azora and then we talk to him again. Thanks for stopping by. You're from the ocean, aren't you? I'm here to sell blue potion. Actually, I want to do business in the sea breeze while listening to the sound of the waves. But to open business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Now, this is it, you guys. This is it. The final step. It's the final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, if that isn't the ocean title deed, let me have that. Please, if I have that, my dreams will come true. I'm not asking for it for free. I'll give you this. You get a huge rupee worth 200 rupees. You can do that, that whole quest now, every cycle for 200 rupees. Oh yeah, the nut brown beaties are waiting. So he wants to go see babes at the beach. I have some news for you. You won't see any babes where the flower is. It's on the other side of the beach. So you're gonna have to make some day trips. Okay, so now, just like with all the others, just like with all the others, now that we've got that, we can fly. We can fly to the heart. Whee! You got a piece of heart, yay. We did it, we did it. Okay, you can jump down in the water and do like whatever and um, and it spits you out. If you go to the left, it spits you out at the um, swamp area, but, um, but we're not gonna bother with any of that. Let's put our bunny ears back on. We need to be our true selves. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we actually have to get across to Akana Canyon. So you can see there's a bridge there that um, you can't just climb up, it's way too tall. But look, it's Octorox. And we learned in the last temple what to do with Octorox. Okay, so in addition, so in addition, there we go. In addition to needing um, the hook shot to get over here, you need ice arrows. So you really do have to finish the other temple before you can actually get um, into Iconic Canyon. All right, so then, after we freeze them and hop across on their heads, we hook shot to victory. Just like we did to get to the beaver area in Great Bay. Yay. Okay, so now we're here. And look, it's our owl statue. Boom. Now we don't have to do that ever again. We can just fly straight here. All right. We also saw Tingle up here. So let's go say hello to our friend. All right, we just need regular arrows for his ass. Hey, Tingle, what's up? How you doing? You don't know, but we've met like a hundred times. We're besties by now.
All right, here we go. Stone Tower. We have the map of this area now. Now you can find your way around the canyon. Sweet! So now, if we go to our map here... Oh, there's no more clouds. It's all filled out, you guys. It's amazing! It's amazing! Okay. So then next... Oh, not down there. Over here. So the next, um, there's some fun houses you can go into in this area. We're going to go into this house first. <laughs> a kind of kingdom was founded on this land, stained with a history of darkness drenched in blood. Even now, it is a place where troubled, regretful spirits gather. If you're seeking the one who is stronger than you are, you may find the strength here. Form a group of spirits plagued by lingering regrets. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try to save these wandering spirits. <laughs> but the earthly price you must pay is 30 rupees. Will you do it? I'll do it. You're a boy of much vigor. Defeat the ladies within the time limit and rest their souls in peace. But if your life energy drops below the three hearts, I will stop the match. Mercy is the least I can offer. Are you prepared? We're prepared. We're prepared. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's beat up some ghost bitches. Shield. Boom. Slash. Boom. Slash. Yeah. Okay, next one, next one. Oh, two ladies. Okay. I can handle it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. There's enough link to go around for everybody. Oh my gosh. All right, told you, told you I could handle two. Okay. Purple lady. Oh, many. Okay, so the trick is when she divides into four like that, one of her um, ones will spin around twice, but uh, you gotta be looking at the one. So I, I know it wasn't one of those two that I was looking at because I didn't see it. So it must be that one. I think it's this is three times or four times or something. There, there it is. There's the twice spin around. We saw it. There we go. One more. One of moss. There we go. All right. We did it. It seems their souls have been healed. I give to you the earthly possessions which Liddy's kept. Take it, Link. There we go. We got their heart. We have stolen their heart. Aww. That is your name, correct? I can read people's hearts. I knew you would be coming here. Now my own soul has been healed too. Would that? Hee <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, he was dead too. Everyone here is dead. Okay, everyone here is dead. All right. So the reason why Tattle was like harassing us and why she keeps harassing us here is because you can get clues to this area if you walk around with your Garo mask on like this. Um, these enemies like this guy. Here we go. Master, you called. <gasps> what are you? Okay, and then you kill him. Bitch. Bird. Oh my god. And you can only attack them, like, right after they attack you, like that. And then, when you do that, they'll give you a clue. Regrettable. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. Every two minutes on every day, the girl who lives in the music box house goes to the dried well to check on something. But as long as the spirits are wandering outside her house, she dares not leave her home. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse, that is the way of Asgaro. Okay, so you can do that like a whole bunch all around Ikana to get various clues. 
Um, we don't need to do any of that because I know what to do. But if you don't know what to do, that's basically how you find out. And that's why Tattle keeps harassing your ass. All right, next place to go into is this northern cave. Let's go. What business have you in Icona Kingdom, land where only the dead roam? This is no place for one as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play, and join the ranks of the dead. Okay, so this is Sharp. Um, we met his brother Flat, and Sharp basically is playing a song for us right now, and uh, it will slowly kill us. So we have to play his brother's song to bring him out of the, the killing instinct, okay? So that's A down up, so watch, like, see, it keeps hurting me. Okay, so we go A down up, there we go. What is this, this song? N no, it can't be, this, Song. Uh oh. You going crazy. <gasps> the water is risen. <gasps> the ooze is flowing again. I kind of think the meme song might be based on this. It's just so similar. And what we're learning is that music kills these, uh, these Gibdo Reden things. Goodbye. Goodbye. Return to the earth where you belong and leave us alone. Thank you very much. So they're no longer stalking the music box house. All right, there we go. Lat, my dear brother, forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To, that, to do that, I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of the Akana Castle, awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. They don't like the graveyard. They did not like the graveyard. They did not like it. And now that the water is flowing, the music plays, and uh, and they don't they don't come back. So here's what we got to do next. Whee! So you can see the music box house plays. So every two minutes she'll come out, but if you to check the water, but like 
she'll run away. She'll run away from you if you get too close. Um, if you don't want to wait two minutes, then here's what you do. You throw bombs. Whee! So we throw the bomb. We hide. She gonna come out. Is she gonna go inspect the boom boom? She gonna go inspect the boom boom. She gonna walk the other way. See? She walking the other way, away from the water. So we want to wait for her to get far enough. So that she's not gonna notice us. And then here we go. Sneaky sneak. Sneak in her house. She gets no privacy. I'm just invading. I'm invading her house. Wow, what's this? <gasps> oh shit. It's another Gibdo. It's another Gibdo that was not subdued by the music. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. But we do know Gibdos don't like music. So, um, so what the heck? Let's try this. Song of Healing. Song of Healing! <gasps> it's a mask! And now he's just a guy! Father? Father! Pamela. What have I been doing this whole time? You, you haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. Pamela. Oh. We got the Gibdo mask. Yay! The mask looks so real, even the Gibdo would mistake you as one of their own. Okay, so I want to show you a funny thing. We're, we can, you can just leave now, but this is funny. If you go try to talk to them. Oh, come on, do it. It won't let me. Anyways, I, normally if you go try to talk to them, like um, Tattle will scold you and be like, can't you tell that they're having a moment? But I couldn't get the line to trigger. Whatever. It don't matter. Okay, so next, we have to prepare. So, the next thing is to jump down the well. Oh. But we need certain things to be able to jump down the well. Um, so we're going to go to Clock Town and we're going to collect some stuff. All right, so the first thing we need is magic beans. And we've done the trading quest in this cycle, so that means the magic bean seller is here now. He is not over in um, in the swamp. Yeah, he's realizing that selling beans here is maybe not the best idea. We do, actually. So you gotta talk to him five times. We need five beans. I wish you could just like choose the number, but no, you gotta talk to him five freaking times. This is one of the things that they changed in the um, the DS version, the remake version. You only need one bean in the DS one. You don't need five. Okay, I think that's five. Uh, you're welcome. So, yes, okay, so we have five beans, we have 38 bombs, we need that. We also need nuts. Okay, we don't have any nuts, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get Deku nuts. Um, and we also need fish and milk. I think I want, can I buy Deku nuts from the shop or am I gonna have to go to the swamp and collect them? Oh wait, that's the curiosity shop. I wanna go to the trading post. Can I buy Deku nuts from you? I can, yay. Welcome, thanks. Okay, so we wanna buy 10 Deku nuts. Yes, we want 10. Okay, so now we are going to leave out to Termina. And there's a pond 
down here that we can get some fishy fish fish. Some little fish fish. So you can see the fish in the pond. So we need to put on our Zora mask and then, oh, let's drink one of these. Yeah, restore them hearts. So we dive down to the bottom, go down, there we go. And then we swipe. Come here, fish. And we miss a whole bunch because we have no aim, but eventually we'll get a fish. Come here, got him. Yay, we caught a fish. Um, there's also this chest that has 20 rupees. Yay. Okay, next we need milk. So we have to go to the cow hole. Oh, wait, I accidentally got rid of my map. How did I do that? What button is it to get it back? There we go. Okay, so I think the cow hole is down here. I'm trying to remember where the cow hole is. I wanna say it's, it's down here. Is it this one or is this, is this a stone hole? This might be the stone hole. This is the stone hole. Cow hole, cow hole, where are you? I know it's not the one with the butterflies above it. Oh wait, ha, huh. I remember, it's here. Mm. This is what we do. There we go, and now it's a cow hole. Cows! And then I think it's... Epona's song we play for them? music. It reminds me of the pasture. That song just makes me want to let go and put out a lot of milk. I'll give some to you. Milk will make you very healthy. We got some milk! Okay, so we have gathered all of our things. And it's time to go. Oh wait, I don't need a Pona. I don't need a Pona to get into a Kana anymore. I was on autopilot. A Pona, I'm sorry for calling you. I don't actually need you. But but um maybe hanging out here is nicer than hanging out in a Kana, so maybe it's okay. Anyway. What well, this is what I meant to do. Just kidding. This is what I meant to do. We can soar to a Kana. My partner did a Breath of the Wild quiz and got called out as well. They got Daruk. What does the Daruk one say? What does the Daruk one say? Okay, so now we need to jump down the well, which is up here. So we just snake around. Whee! No, no, girl. Tattle, you chill. Let's see, what did you get? Oh yeah, Teba. <gasps> Teba and Daruk. I don't know, I kind of see it. Teba and Daruk. That's good. That's good ship. Whee! Boom. So you can climb down, or you can be a rebel and jump down. It only takes a quarter heart. It's okay. Um. So yeah, this is what we do. We come in here. Now, instead of wearing the bunny hood, we actually want to wear our new Gibdo mask in here. So we're going to put on our Gibdo mask. Okay. And that is how you get the Gibdos to talk to you. See one there, you see one there. We're gonna start with this guy. So if you wear the Gibdo mask, they think that you're their friend. They still scream, but it's like, 
a scream of greeting instead of a scream of I'm going to latch on to you and suck your life out. Okay? So this is what they say. Leave it. Leave it. Leave me something delicious to chomp on. Something that sprouts when it's watered. Preferably five of them. Okay. So they want gifts. They want gifts. This is how they show their friendship. They think they're playing Stardew Valley 24-7. So you give him beans. Ah, uh, this, this, I bear you no remorse. And then he explodes into green flames and opens the door for you. Thanks, friend. So then we enter this room, and um, there's enemies. Ice, ice babies. Come here, I want to fucking kill you. Hang on. Shoot. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Ooh, more arrows. So then you come around here, and I think it's this one I need to talk to next? This one? Yes. Leave it, leave it! Leave me something that makes a blinding flash, preferably ten of them. Okay, so now he wants Deku Nuts. Um, so we give him Deku Nuts. Ah, this, this. I bear you no remorse. Oh, you're steadfast and protective. You would do anything for your friends and family. You're the person people turn to when they need advice or help hiding a body. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, I was not paying attention, and he took me back to the beginning. This little bitch. Okay, but anyways, the doors that we opened are still there. Let me actually pause while I read this. Um, sometimes you feel alienated from other people, but you'd still do anything to help them. You sometimes don't understand why everything has to be so complicated. You um, just want people to be kind to each other. You definitely wear or would love to wear Hawaiian shirts. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Koneko, I would get along with your partner so well. Your partner sounds so fucking cool. I love that. I love that. Okay. So then we come into this room that was opened up by the nut man. Um, and then we need to go, oh, oh my god, not start, slashy, get him, oh my god, whatever, bring out arrows again, bitch, where are you, let me z-target you, there. Yeah, you thought. You thought. Okay. Um. I think it's this one? Leave it, leave it! Leave me ten refreshing blasts. Okay. Refreshing blasts are bombs. So he needs ba bomb ba bomb bombs Ah, this, this. I bear you no remorse. Thanks. Okay, now we come in here. And, oh, what are these spikies? Wow. Oh no, it's a Poe. Okay, we know how to deal with these. We've dealt with them many, many times at this point. Boom. Shoot. Boom. Arrow, bitch. Where are you? One more, I think. That was four arrows. We need five arrows. Boom. Boom. Okay, now we need to get him into a bottle. So I need to really quickly drink this shit. Go collect him. Oh, God. Oh my god. There we go. 
That was about to be a disaster. Okay, we caught the big po in the bottle. Oh my god, stop hitting me. All right, we need him in a second. Please note that Daru cowering from a dog is closer to what I'm really like. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, what does this one want? I don't remember. Leave it, leave it. Leave me something warm that can melt ice and quench one's spirits. Okay, actually, I don't, I think that's blue potion, but we don't need that. If you don't have it, then no need for you. Away! Bitch, you burn me. You burn me. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we gotta go back here. Daruk is bay, though. Okay, and then I think it's this Gibdo is next. Leave it, leave it. Leave me something deliciously fresh. Okay, so he wants um fish fish. He wants fish fish fish. Here you go. Ah, this, this, I bear you no remorse. Okay, next door. All right, this one. I think it's this guy, this guy all the way at the end. What do you want, sir? Leave me a ghost, a big one at that. Yes, okay. It's this one. So that's why you have to kill that big Poe in there. Because you got to catch it. And that's really the only other spot than the first spot that we had for catching a big po. Oh god, fuck. I forgot there's a I forgot there's a ceiling a ceiling bitch in there. I forgot. Anyway, let's try that again. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, this again. Okay, got past it all. Now we need to leave him something rich in calcium. Milk. See, Gibdos aren't scary. The reason why they grab onto you and suck out your life force is because they just want gifts. They just want gifts. And if they could, like, speak to you, they would just tell you that. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Last little puzzle. We gotta light, light the torches. Yay! We got some treasure! You got the mirror shield! Yay! It can reflect light! I actually find this item kind of annoying as fuck to use, but basically it's a shield upgrade. So to practice with it, you're supposed to reflect up to that thing to reveal the pathway. And then you're supposed to reflect to the sun on the right for another reveal. Creepy. That tooth smile. No. Don't smile like that. Gosh, son. You could smile other ways. Smile using... Use your eyes, too. Don't just smile with the mouth. All right. So now we're in this new area, and we climb, 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 climb. <sighs> what is this? It's the ancient castle of Ikana. 
Now, unfortunately, there really is not enough time left in the cycle for me to comfortably do the castle. So, um, we're going to come back to this. There's a shortcut to get into the castle a different way that we're going to use when we come back. Um, you don't have to go through the well all over again. There's another way now that we have the mirror shield. Um, but what we're actually going to do is spend some time farming up rupees because we still need to get um, the 5,000 rupees. We still need to get the 5,000 rupees. Oh, we don't, we don't need this mask anymore. And yes, now that we have the mirror shield, we will constantly be looking at a terrifying face as Link runs um, for the rest of the game. So that's how that is. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Boom. Whee. Bitch, what you doing? Come here. Stupid chew. Got you. I got you, chew. We're just going to kind of farm up as much rupees as we can to try to get closer to that to that um, 5,000. We're at, what, like 3,000 something, I think? 2,000 something? I don't remember if we broke the 3,000 or not yet. But we have plenty of time to get up to 500 rupees out here in Termina. Because we could skip time, but why not use the time? for some farming. Because we do have one more thing that we really do need to do within this cycle. We set up for it, so we need to do it. Take that. Instant slash. Boom. We definitely want to get up to the northern area and kill some Dodongos. Dodong Dodongos. For them sweet, sweet rupees. Whee! Why you explode all in my face? That hurts both of us. That hurts both of us. You could make choices to just leave me alone and then no one would get hurt. But you choose to hurt both of us, yourself more than me, with your actions. You should reflect on that. You should reflect on that and do better next time, Mr. Real Bomb Chew. I didn't really need that arrow anyway. I changed my mind. Well, whatever. You exploded all the grass for me, thanks. Alright, let's go down here and get some dodongos. Dodongos. Hey, sir. You have 50 rupees for me. Gimme, gimme, gimme them rupees. Yeah, thank you. Those are mine. They always were mine. 
You have 50 rupees for me too. Give me my money. I want my money. Oh my god. What am I? Yeah. Let's get the baby one too. Nobody can escape. <laughs> Bitch better have my money. <laughs> All right, hi. Hello, hi. Hi. I just want to I just want to talk to you for a minute. I just want to talk I just want to talk to you for a second. Um, I hope you're having a good day. It's, uh, you know, I, I don't want to sell you anything. I just, I just want to talk. Bye. Yes. Thanks. I don't think that chest has any rupees in it. It should, but it doesn't. Pretty sure it's like just a heart. Yeah, it's a heart. Thanks. Thanks for the singular recovery heart. I, I needed that. That's great. That's wonderful. Alright. No more Dodongos. Because it's morning time. But let's try to get up to the 500 rupees real quick. Yeah. Take that. Oh, you just have hearts for me. Probably because I'm, I'm missing hearts, so they're gonna just... You're just gonna have hearts for me. I need to go mow some lawns. Come on, let's go mow some lawns. Whee! Hey, I'll mow your lawn for you. 15 bucks. 15 bucks, I'll do a good job. 15 bucks be done in, be done in 30 minutes. Thank you. Boom. I wonder how Chews feel. They constantly die all the time and then come right back. What does that feel like? Like to immediately come back like that? That must feel really crazy. I wonder if they lead, like, a super tortured existence. They probably do. Okay, I just need one more money. Money, money, money! Um, hello? I cut your lawn for you. Pay me. There we go. Got some rupees. Alright, let's go back into Clock Town. Now, unfortunately, we need to use these rupees. We do need to use these rupees. So, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go over here. We are gonna deposit 100 rupees. Oh, we didn't break three yet. We're at 2,700. <clears throat> okay, let's deposit 100. Yes, we would like to do that. Yes, we're going to give you that much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now... Now we're going to go to the inn and we're going to get our 100 rupees from the chest in there. The inn is so quiet on the third night. Okay, let's go into the locked room. And we get our chest from the mannequin. Sorry I steal your money, Mr. Mannequin. Okay, so we got our 100 rupees from there. 
Now we're back up to 500 again. And now we need to wait for 10 p.m. We need to wait for 10 p.m. <clears throat> to visit the curiosity shop. Opens at 10 p.m. Okay. While we're waiting for that to open, I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. It won't even be 10 by the time I get back, I'm sure. Glad Queen is such a good streamer. She can entertain you guys while I go to the bathroom. Might want to undo slowing down time, I think. Oh my gosh. I've got sniffles. Okay, let's do that. That would be... Like that? Backwards? Uh, return the flow of time to normal, yes. I'm gonna eat a cookie while we wait. It's a weird angle. There we go. Open up! I got stuff to buy! I got stuff to buy! I love Samoas. They're the best cookie ever. It's almost open. Mm. Okay. So... He and Santa Furry, okay. Come in. You gotta look around. I'm doing a special sale. Check it out. It's a nice bargain. This is an all-night mask for use at bedtime. I forgot where this is made, but it sure is a freaky mask, see? When you put it on, you can try and try to fall asleep, but you won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? What shall it be? Check the bargain. Okay. We do want to buy this all-night mask. You have to have the adult wallet for it. The 500 wallet. The major wallet, whatever it's called. Giant wallet. That's what it's called in this game. Giant wallet. And you have to have saved the old lady on the first night. And then go. You can't buy it until now. You got the all night mask. Yay. We did it. Yeah, we cannot sleep with this mask on. You bought a weird mask. This was added to your notebook. Yes. So can I buy something? No. <laughs> There's quite a lot of things that have to line up before you can buy that mask. It will just continue to torture you until then. 
All right, so that's all we needed to do. That's all we needed to do. Now we can reset time. <sighs> yes, we do. We're gonna start our seventh cycle. We're gonna start our seventh cycle. All of our bombs and stuff go away. We're back to dawn of the first day. Everything we have done, erased. All right. The quickest way to the canyon is through the east gate. Yes, I know. I've already been there, friend. I've already been there. All right, so the very first thing we have to do, of course, is slow down time. Yes. Yes, we would like to slow time. All right. Then we like to show all of our new masks to the happy mask salesman to see what he has to say about them. So let's take that off. So we do have several new masks that we got last cycle. So we got the circus leaders mask. We got the Gibdo mask and we got the all night mask. These three. Okay. So let's see what he's got to say about it. First, this one that I, I feel like I think is useless. I don't think there's anything you can do in this version of the game with this mask. It's just a, just to collect it, to get all the masks. That mask, that's the circus leader's mask, isn't it? That is a fine mask. It is filled with the feelings of tenderness left behind in the back of one's heart. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Wait, let's see what he has to say about this one. That mask, that's the Gibdo mask, isn't it? That is a fine mask. It is filled with the love of a father and child. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. And last but not least, the all night mask. That mask, that's the all night mask, isn't it? That looks like an expensive mask. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I'm looking for. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. So that's what he has to say about it. He has to say it's expansive. It's expansive. Apparently it does something, but it's not very useful. I know it. I know you can get an extra bottle. I know you can get an extra bottle in the um, DS version, but I feel like I don't think I've ever used it in the N64 version. When worn, the mask cries and is a calming effect on people related to Gorman. When Link wears it in the presence of the Gorman brothers, the mask affects them emotionally, sapping the desire to be rude of them. What? During the segment in which Link must defeat Kremia's milk shipment to get the Romani mask, wearing the troop leader's mask prevents the bandits from attacking. Ah, oh, Romani's mask is required to get the troop leader's mask in the first place. Okay, that's why I've never used it then. The time that you would use it, you already, you were not going to go back and do the thing with Kremia again. So, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> So that's why I'm like, I think it's useless because why would I, I would never do that. I would never do that. Like, why would I do Crimea again? Okay. <clears throat> it's basically only useful in randomizers. Yeah. Yeah. So like in a randomizer for sure, like that would be cool. But if it's not a randomizer, like I would never use that. We might, maybe we'll go put it on and talk to the Gorman brothers just to see what they have to say. That might be fun. Okay. So now it's rupee collecting time. So we get to go over here and we're going to get our rupees. In Majora's Mask, it's one of the few masks that can be obtained more than once, along with the couple's mask. In Majora's Mask 3D, Gorman instead gives Link a fishing hole pass if he plays the Ballad of the Windfish after obtaining the troop leader's masks. Oh. I see, I see. I've never beaten the 3D ver 3DS version, so I didn't even really know that that's how you got the fishing, the fishing pass. So, um, the more you know. Alright, let's get our rupees. Yay! Whee! Boom! Boom! 
All right, so then... Oh no, I did want this screen because I want to look in my notebook. Five, three, two, four, one. Okay. I want one too. Oh yeah. I gotta talk to him without it. Okay, it was five. Oh. Shoot, I pressed the wrong button. I think it was five, three, two, four, one. Find out. Five, three, two, four, one. Yep, that was right. <clears throat> okay, let's get the rupees from the bumble wall. Karen can't count counter. I don't even know where we're at anymore, right? <laughs> I did it right that time, though. I did it right. I did it right. I just didn't... I pushed the wrong button. But I didn't mess up the counting that time. After what? We've had to put it in. This is cycle seven, so that'll be the seventh time we've had to put it in. <laughs> Maybe I can, you know, I can eventually get it right someday. Oh, wait. Blast mask. That's what I wanted. A hundred rupees again! Whee! And so we can get the 200 rupees at the end of the trade quest. We also want to go and do the moon steer bit over in the um, observatory. He wants to maximize rupees. Maximizing the rupees is needed. Oh my gosh. Go that way. There we go. Climb, climb, climb. <laughs> now that we have the 500 um, max wallet, we can do the rupee collecting a lot more efficiently. We don't have to go back after every 200 rupees, so that's gonna be really nice. I didn't mean to press that. Let me look again. I guess to zoom in on the Skull Kid. There we go. Hey Skull Kid, I'm back again. It's a new cycle, but at some point I'm gonna kick your ass. Bet. It's happening. Get the moons to your wee. Yay. And then so that we don't have to run through that sewer part again. Teleport. Teleport. We are going to need a powder keg for the next part, so we are going to go ahead and um, buy a powder keg. Just constantly terrorizing the poor citizens of Termina by transforming in front of them. Yes, I'll buy one. Thank you. Yay. All right, guess what? You were wrong. I'm not a Goron. I'm Link. All right, we got our moons tier, so let's do the first bit of the trading quest.
I know it's your private property, but you don't want it. You want to sell it. You want to sell it for a moon's tier. Yay, we got it. Go into your hole instead of going home to your wife for some reason. <clears throat> All right, there is one other thing we need to do in Clock Town before we leave and continue our rupee quest. We need to go see Anju's grandmother um, now that we have the all-night mask. So let's, let's break in. We're breaking into the inn. All right, Andrew's grandmother lives downstairs, like all grandmothers should. Don't make your old people go upstairs, that's rude. All right, so this is Andrew's grandmother, and we're gonna need our all night mask for this. What's she got going on over here? Granny's diary. It was my granddaughter who cooked again today, putting that to the lips shortens the life. I thought of the way to get by without eating. I'll try it tomorrow. I just hope I'm not caught. Okay, so she hates Anju's cooking so much, she is going to not eat. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping Father? Then let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Okay, so we are going to pass for now. We're going to put on our all-night mask. We're going to wear it for the stories. So first, we are going to hear the Carnival of Time story. So let's go. Everybody tuck in, get yourself a little drink, get cozy. It's time for a story. The Carnival of Time, is it? The carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. Ahem. <laughs> the Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The carnival of time is when the people of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom for each person to bring handmade masks to the carnival of time. It is said that if a couple united on the day of the festival and dedicated a mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower, and on the eve of the festivities, the door to the roof are open. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held, and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivities for the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the years to come. You did a good job. That's all for Tortoise. Now, when does the clock tower open? It opens on the eve of the festival. You did a good job remembering. That's the boy I'm proud of. I'll give you some candy as a prize. And guess what? It's a piece of heart. Okay. We are not going to do the 24-hour story quite yet. We're going to come back and do that in a moment. Um, let's do some more rupee collecting first, and uh, and then we'll come do the all the all night story um, that we really truly need the mask for. All right. So next, we're going to go to the swamp. Do the do the next part of the trade quest and get a hundred rupees. Oh, wrong direction. There we go. Yes. Yeah! Alright, my dude. I have a guess. I bet you want to live in the city. 
you're done with this swamp life. You're done with this backwoods nonsense. You want to live in the city city. Oh. Yeah, you do. I knew it. Got the swamp title deed. <clears throat> Let's go get Tingle's picture so we can get a hundred rupees from his daddy. Oh wait, I have no arrows. I have no arrows. Get dead. Yeah. Arrows? Arrows? Arrows! Arrows. Okay. Whee! Got him. I did want to go to start. Yes, we're keeping this picture. All right, let's go show it to his dad so he'll pay us. We're gonna go. We're gonna do a little, little blackmail. Just, little, just a little tiny little bit of blackmail. You know, a tiny little bit of bit of blackmail among friends. Um, because we're friends with this man, even though in this since we just started our new cycle, he's actually never met us. He's no idea who we are, but that's okay, because we know him. We know him and we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's your son. That's your son, give me money. Money, please. Thank you. All right, so now we need to do the next leg of the trade quest, which is over in Snowhead. Unfortunately, the warp point for Snowhead is in the mountain village. I feel like Goron Village should have a warp point. I don't know. Like... I kind of feel like most of these areas should have a third warp point, but they don't. And Snowhead in particular would benefit from one. But basically we just got to run all the way over here to do the trade quest. And also, unfortunately, there's really nothing else worth doing in Snowhead, like as far as like rupee collecting goes. So we're, we're just running over here for this leg of the, of the trade quest. But that's okay. Because we're going to get 200 rupees out of it in the end. Rubber band away from me. I don't want you. Bye. Whee! Alright, so to do the trade with him, we need to become Deku. Yay! Yes, it's the swamp title deed. Thanks, my dude.
Next stop, Great Bay. So we're actually going to go Zora Cape first for the trade quest, and then we'll fly over to Great Bay to get the 100 rupee chest from the Gerudo babes. Because they got my money. Alrighty, we have to go into Lulu's room as Macau for this. So I guess let's make... There we go. Get his mask going. Yeah, you're busy. You're busy trying to break into a lady's room. Don't do that. My gosh. So rude. It's not my room. Oh wait, I need to be a Goron. I need to be a Goron. To be a Macau to get into the room, but I need to be a Goron when I talk to him. Yeah, there we go. Now he's about the clean mountain air. Yes, it's a mountain title deed. Yay, we got the ocean title deed. I don't know why that one does the do 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 sound and the other two didn't. Even though I've already gotten this before, so like it should have only made it the first time. I don't know. I feel like that's like a, it's not supposed to do that, but it does. But I think it's not supposed to make that sound effect after you've gotten that heart piece. Okay, now we have to go to the other side of Great Bay. Okay, time to swim. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't trying to talk to you, Owl. I wasn't trying to talk to you. No. Get in the water. Whee! Whee! Yeah! Yeah! Whee! Oh no, we're here. Oh no, we're here. <laughs> we cannot dolphin jump anymore. Boom. Okay. Get in there, Macau. Alright, let's put on our stone mask. Let's get our hook shot. Just get on the next one. Get on the next one. Sup, ladies? How's it going? I'm just gonna ride your boat. I'm on a boat. Trying to do this place without the stone mask would be so annoying. People that do that are powerful. Whee! Thanks for the ride! See you later! Hookshot for victory! Yeah!
Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme them rubies. have all the fun with his hookshot. I'm so jelly. I want to have something like a hookshot in real life. That would be so cool if hookshot existed in real life. All right, bitch better have my money. They had it. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's go to Ikana. Oh, I don't need no stone mask no more. Bunnies all the way. Wee! Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? You look familiar. You look familiar, my dude. Hello. Hey, that's a nice sword you have. <laughs> you know, lately, frightening ghosts have been appearing in swarms in the Akana Valley across the river. It seems they're ghosts of Akana Royal family or something. No one living there anymore, so I moved nearby. <laughs> Now there's only a curious parent and a child living there while they research the ghosts. Did I mention that's one nice sword? Can I see it for a second? I want to show y'all what happens when you press yes. Huh? Really? I don't want to trouble you, but... <laughs> what some... What? Well, it seems hostile! <laughs> yeah, if you try to give him your sword, Tattle saves you from that. Absol appearing while you're working on a kind of stuff. That's amusing, right? Absol would love Akana. Absol would love Akana. Okay, so we need to be a Zora. Um, let's see, 350, 450, 550. Oh shoot. <gasps> I just realized something. We're gonna lose out on 50 rupees if I do this right now. Hang on. We don't want to lose out on 50 rupees. Let's first go deposit. Let's first go deposit. Just kidding, we'll come back in a second, my dude. I know I'm like about to fly away in a flutter of feathers and it's gonna look really weird, but sorry. Sorry, sorry. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay, let's deposit. Hello. Yes, I need to deposit some rupees. Yes. Yes, we're gonna give you that much. Well, now we're over the 3k, so we're at 3,100. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. We are having a spoopy Sunday in Ikana. So, okay, so now let's go back. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Mr. Deku for flying away from you on there like instantly. Uh, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna, we're gonna come back, we're gonna come back, we're gonna come back. All right, we're back, Wee. There's Mr. Sakon still running in a circle. He crazy. He not only a thief, but he crazy. 
Something is something is wrong with him. That's why he's doing his thieving ways. Okay. Now we can put on our Zora mask. And we can talk to the man. Yes, I'm from the ocean. I know you sell blue potion. Ha ha ha. Poetin didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, ocean title deed. Yes, you can have it. And there we go, 200 rupees again. Go! So you can do that every single cycle for 200 more rupees. And that's it. That's it, Nikonifer, right this second, because we're still rupee hunting. We're gonna fly back to Clock Town, just to make it a little bit easier to go out into Termina. Because, of course, we can do the Gossip Stones again. Oh my gosh, I have a sword. I have a sword, sir. I am an adult man. I am not a boy. Thank you. I know I look young, but I'm actually seven years older than this. Thank you. Wee. Okay, let's do Deku Mask, since that's my favorite right song. And it's up left, up left, okay. Up left, up left, A right, A. All right, so we got the Northern Mountain one. And the next hole is over here by the observatory. Can we do all of this in time? I think so. Because the next thing was we have to get the next 100 rupees is between 150 and 330. So I think we can finish this all in time. Two down, two to go. All right, so then the swamp hole is down here. over in that corner. Right? I think that's right. I think it's like right over here. Yes. Link go down to hole. Link go down to hole. Dodging that sculptula like a champ. One more hole.
I love this music. I love this song in like a lot of the Zelda games, but this one especially. Get dead. I thought it was in this corner, but I guess it's not. It must be up there. It must be up. It can't be on the sand. That must have been supposed to go up. Okay, let's go look up. There we go! Okay, it's not two yet. Oh, I remember- I know, we haven't done the one where you blow up the rock yet. This is the one where you blow up the rock. Do we have any bumps? We do not have any bumps. We're gonna have to blast mask it. Boom. Whee! Okay, so we need our Deku mask. Okay. There we go. Yeah. There we go, Silver Rupee. Good job. Good job. That step is so high. That step is so high. I don't understand why it's so high. All right, and we are just in time. We are just in time for the next 100 rupees. I'm sorry, Mr. Mailman, I'm gonna cut you off. I gotta talk to her first. Sorry. Yes, I have a reservation. My name is Link. There is somehow another Goron named Link. Um, now he's gonna have to sit outside. Sorry. Sorry, sir. You're gonna have to sleep outside. Um, it's my bad. I need 100 rupees more, I guess, than, um, than your comfort of sleeping in a bed. That's just a decision that I've made for us. I think it's the best thing, the most equitable thing, um, you know, when weighing two people's needs against each other's, that I should have the rupees and you should have nothing. Um, I'm not gonna sleep in this room. I'm not, but, you know. You know. There we go. Always felt kind of shitty about this. Hello, Chili Cheese Dog. Right? I always have to. I think this is the first cycle that I've pointed out, though, how shitty it is that you do this. Um, But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I need the rupees. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Next thing we need to do, I realized, is actually back in here. So we didn't do the 24-hour story yet. Now that we've done our rupee collecting for the for t for this day, we're gonna go we're gonna go do the twenty four hour story. So let's see what um what she has to say for this. To be honest, this entire game is Link commits identity theft. The game, it's true, it's true. And and like okay, so he uses the identity theft for some for really positive things a couple of times, like in regards to Macau and in regards to Darmani, right? But then he just bails, right? So he's like. Hey, Gorons, your hero has returned. And then he just bails. <laughs> he just bails on them. <laughs> Yoshi commits tax fraud. Link commits identity theft. Nintendo character Shara criminals is true. Link is a, is a criminal, but, you know, it's for the greater good because then we're going to save everybody from the moon and it's going to be okay. Our sins will be washed away. They'll have never happened. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do it. Let's read the 24-hour story. Four giants till morning. Got it. The four giants, is it? This is quite long, but it's a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. Ahem. <laughs> the four giants. This tale from long ago, when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. 
on the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giant spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. If you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as the mountain blizzard has trapped us or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries shall carry to us. Now then, oh no, it got, <laughs> it got jacked. It got jacked and pushed me out the room. <laughs> now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giant since before they had created the four worlds. There's supposed to be pictures here illustrating it. You can find it on YouTube. <laughs> why must you leave? Why must? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. Oh, imp. O oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain, O oh, imp. Leave these four worlds. Otherwise, we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced, and they worshipped the giants of all of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Koneko, for clipping that. Good job. Wasn't that fun, Tortoise? Oh, what did the people do to call the giants? Okay, so you're supposed to say, I don't know to this. It's not sing a song. Okay, it's I don't know. Even though music is involved to call the giants in this game. Yes, I know. But you're supposed to say, I don't know. Oh, really? But you listen so hard. Some mother is happy. I'll give you some candy as your prize. We get a piece of heart. Yes, we get a piece of heart. Chili Cheese Dog, by the way, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, my name is Karen Terry. I am a variety streamer. We do um, basically games that have good stories. So like that's why we're doing the 100% playthrough of Majora's Mask. We also play a lot of Sims 2, RPGs, and I do um, a monthly-ish media analysis podcast. So if any of that interests you, now you know a little bit more about what I do, and you can decide if you would like to follow or not. Okay, so that's that piece of heart. That's the piece of heart. Um, let's go deposit our rupees, because I don't think we need any rupees for the moment. So let's go do that. And you can see it is 8 a.m. on the second day now. It is 8 a.m. on the second day. So um, so we, we spent a lot of time. We spent a lot of time doing that. Uh, and that's basically what happens. Like, it teleports you to, like, 8 a.m. the next morning. Um, I'm pretty sure. No matter when you do it, it teleports you to 8 a.m. the next morning. So you can kind of time it so that you lose as little time as possible, but it's whatever. Okay, let's deposit these rupees. Yes. Yes, we're gonna give you that much. All right, so we're up to 3,500. Having the, the big wallet has really helped. We're up to 3,500 now. All right. Let me save. Okay, saved. Okay, switch back to the webcam for a second. All right, for those of y'all watching the VOD on YouTube, that is it for Majora's Mask today. When we come back next time, we'll be tackling more of Akana Canyon. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.